In recent years, the window of manure application has narrowed due to wet or unseasonably cold weather. Side dressing opens up a non-traditional window of opportunity. In addition, we have heard from some farmers that older style hog barns no longer have a full year of storage and they need somewhere to apply manure in the summer. Studies of side dressing swine manure into corn in Ohio have shown promising results, so we wanted to test it in Minnesota. In an on-farm experiment near Lesor, Minnesota, we tested several nitrogen sources for corn. Our primary goal was to see if finishing swine manure could be used and if it could be applied with a dragline hose system. Initially, the corn was planted in early May with approximately 40 pounds of nitrogen applied with the planter. We side dressed the corn in early June in large strips, about 24 rows, when the corn was at about the V4 growth stage. We aimed to get it applied before the growing point of the corn emerged around V6. For all nitrogen source treatments, we applied a nitrogen rate of 140 pounds per acre. For a control, we also applied strips where there was no nitrogen side dress. This is so that we can ensure our nitrogen sources did in fact make an impact on the corn. The first two nitrogen sources included anhydrous ammonia and liquid urea ammonium nitrate. The third source, finishing swine manure, was applied at around 3,500 gallons per acre with a drag hose system and a 12 row applicator. We had a few issues that we had to work out, but overall we were really pleased with the process. And believe it or not, the vast majority of the corn popped back up within a few days after the drag hose was pulled over it. The corn was harvested in mid-October, and we used weigh wagons to determine yield. The no side dress nitrogen control plots yielded about 140 bushels per acre. We were pleasantly surprised to find that the grain yields for all treatments that had nitrogen side dress were similar, around 206 bushels per acre, even where the swine manure was side dressed. Based on our results, finishing swine manure appears to be a viable nitrogen source for side dressing manure. This year, we're going to repeat the experiment in a new field, and we're also going to revisit the plots from the first year, which are now in soybeans. Our main goal is to see if there are lingering effects of nitrogen sources on the soybeans. Sign up for Minnesota Crop News email alerts on the latest research updates and current growing conditions.